Hey our Sierros, Miss Erin here. For the last several weeks, Miss Carrie has talked to you guys about some of the many names that Jesus and God are called throughout the Bible. And this week, I wanna to talk to you guys about what we are called. Now, because the Bible is the word of God, it's actually things that he calls us. So I'm in my backyard right now because a lot of times I'm reminded of those names just by looking around. So I'm sure that before now, Miss Carrie has mentioned that when you accept Jesus into your heart, you become a part of his family. In 1 John 3, 1, it says, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. Not just your immediate family, but the whole body of Christ. And even though he made each of us unique, that we will each do something spectacular, we all have some things in common. One of those things that's in common is that we are all made new when we ask God to take over our lives. In 1 Corinthians 5.17, it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone. The new is here. And you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of butterflies because they start out as caterpillars and turn into something entirely different. It's not cool. And since God sent Jesus, we are actually called free. In Romans 8, 2, it says, Through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free. You hear that? Those birds remind me of freedom. Every time. Not only are we free, but the Bible says we are chosen. These next verses actually tell us many things that God says about us and that we can be with his help. Colossians 3, 12 through 14, it says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Isn't it amazing? how we are called so many awesome things by our creator and that we don't have to try and be all those things alone. I, I know I need help all the time to be patient and kind for myself and the people around me. Before I let you go, I'd really like to pray for you because Carrie is so excited to see you in person starting next week. So let's bow our heads and I'll pray for you. God, Thank you for our RC Arrows and their growing hearts. We know you have big plans for them, but that you are also with them. Thank you for guiding our hearts and minds so we don't have to get through the craziness of life all on our own. In Jesus' name, amen.